Hi everyone, it's Nikita here from Aussie Mama Reviews. Today I'm going to review for you my Uniden BW3451R baby monitor. So this monitor is available from retail stores such as Baby R Us, JB Hi-Fi, as well as online retailers at very different prices. I found it ranging from about $300 online to $349 in stores, and I was able to purchase it from JB Hi-Fi on special for $299. So this baby monitor comes with the parent unit or the screen um, and the baby unit which is the camera. The screen is a 3.4 inch display. It also has a joystick to control your camera, it has zoom features, menu. The screen itself also has the ability to play a lullaby in the baby's room which the buttons are on the side which I love. My old monitor had the buttons as part of the display to change the direction of the camera and I was forever hitting the lullaby button when I had already got the baby to sleep which would wake her up and it was a nightmare. So great idea to have the button on the side. The camera also comes with a night light so you can activate the night light on the camera which glows the base of the camera green. It's a really nice dull light say you were going to go in to feed your baby you could put that on rather than turning on a lamp or the bright light or anything like that so it's a great feature. It also has a recording option. So this camera has, uh, this parent unit, sorry, has a slot for a micro SD card. And you're able to constantly record, you're able to use a manual recording, or you're able to set it an automatic record feature where it records for a certain length of time when it's activated, the voice activation happens. So baby's woken up or baby's moved around and it will start recording for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, however long you like which is a great additional feature. So you have a baby that's getting out of bed when they're a bit older and you wanna see what triggers it or you want to record part of their sleeping for whatever reason, you have that ability. So that's a great, great thing to know about. The other things that this monitor has is a walkie-talkie feature. So you're able to press a button and talk to your child and you know, obviously they can respond and you can hear them. It also has a temperature setting, which is great. So you know what temperature the baby's room is at. It does have an alert if it goes too hot or cold, which you can turn off which I didn't know for a long time and it was forever beeping during summer saying the room was 30 degrees. And I kept saying, I know, I know, it's hot. Um, but it just kept beeping at me. So you can turn those off in the settings, just make sure you have a look in your manual. This baby monitor unit is also compatible with up to four cameras. You're able to split the screen into four, view four cameras at the same time, have it as two cameras. You can have it scanning through so it flicks to each channel or you can have it on the voice activation or movement activation mode where the screen is black and when movement or sound is detected, it will like the camera will activate and you'll be able to see what's happening in that room. So this is a great feature. If you plan on having more than one child, you can have a camera in each of their rooms, or if for whatever reason you wanted to have a camera in the playroom or in another room of your house, you're able to do that with the one parent unit, which is great, rather than having to juggle two screen units or anything like that. One of the things that I noticed with a lot of baby monitor reviews is that they all complained about the battery life of the parent unit, which unfortunately, I found standard. I had a Oricom monitor initially, really bad battery life. Uniden monitor, battery life's not great. But I have found a way around this, which I'll detail a little bit later when I talk about adding additional cameras and what you can do to, you know, make your life a little bit easier. The other thing, the main reason that I liked this cam, this camera unit was that it was Wi-Fi compatible. So my old camera unit, you only had the screen, the camera, you could only view it from the one screen and that was the only functionality that the camera had. But when that cam when I had issues with that camera and returned it, I really wanted to get a camera that met all of my needs. And one of the main things that we needed is being able to have really good range on the camera unit or being able to view it Wi-Fi. So we have a really big block and to be able to be down the back of the block or in the pool and be able to have the monitor work that far from the baby unit was a key for us and we just didn't get that with our old monitor. So I knew that I wanted a monitor that did that beyond all because that was something that we really needed and we're missing from our old unit. So this unit and monitor comes with a little white cradle that you sit the screen into and then you need to plug that cradle into your modem and that's where the charger cable is as well. So you need to have this screen close to your modem. So depending on what room you have the modem in in your house, that might change how you feel about this monitor. But we have our modem right underneath the TV because we have it hooked up to our Foxtel and our TV. And so the parent unit sits right next to the modem and it works really, really well for us. That's where it's charged. That's where it's connected to the modem. And so for this parent unit to, I guess, transmit the, the video feed to your app, 
it needs this unit needs to be in the cradle it can't just be next to it can't be sitting next to you on the couch can't be in your bedroom it needs to be on the dock so that can become problematic if your dock is in a room of the house that you don't use very often you know tucked away in an office where the modem is or uh, in another area in your house so that is definitely something to think about but in terms of actually hooking it up to the modem it's quite simple it comes with an ethernet cable you plug it into just one of the ports on the back of your modem plug it into the dock plug the dock into the powerpoint very simple and I really liked that and I had really I was really wary of how it would work with Wi-Fi because a lot of the reviews I had read were a bit negative or uh, frustrated at how difficult it was to hook up to Wi-Fi but I think that might have been with an older model which I had read needed to be hooked up to Skype and it was quite a convoluted process so with the 3451R very easy love it so the other option with Uniden is that there are a lot of different configurations that you can buy your monitor in it can have a different screen so it can be the larger screen can be a smaller screen can have a standard camera that doesn't pan and tilt or it can have this camera that does swivel around on the base and so I really liked the pan and tilt camera because it means that you are not locked into only looking at one fixed location in the baby's room. So Sadie has learned to crawl around in her cot now and to be able to move the camera around to find where she is, is really great. Because we have our camera sitting up on 90 degree angle on our wall using this base, we are able to get a really up close view of her. So she's not super far away. We can see her breathing. I can see if she's got her dummy in her mouth. Um, and we're able to get a good view as well as then looking all the way around the cot which we don't always get in the one picture so that is the one positive side that I think the pan and tilt camera has if you have a standard or stationary camera you need to fix it in exactly the right location to basically see the whole cot in one view um, otherwise your baby could I guess disappear from your view if you haven't you know if you're not able to move the camera so that's really a great feature of the pan and tilt camera it doesn't have a great range of motion looking down. If you were to have the camera sitting flat, or you wouldn't be able to see what you know, see the baby down in the cot. You really need to fix it up on the wall um, on the angle. But if you were to have it on a bookcase or anything like that, you could see through the cot bars. That would work really well as well. And the great thing is that it does come with a detachable base, so you can fix this to the wall and say you needed to take the camera off to, you know, baby was sleeping in a different room or you wanted to move the camera, you only have to detach the camera, not the whole base. And we actually have this attached with 3M hooks. So we have two little picture hooks that we hook the, these holes into, so it's not actually permanently fixed to our wall. Because we were working out exactly where would be the best way to keep the power cord out of Sadie's reach, as well as getting the best angle um, of viewing her. So we've done that, we haven't had any problems, it hasn't fallen off once, so we're really happy with that. So then that just sticks back in there, and that is the camera unit. And this camera unit does need to be powered all the time. So obviously you have a power cord to be mindful of. When we initially installed it, there was a power cord hanging down from where we had this on the wall, down to the floor. And Sadie, we didn't realize she could actually fit her arm through the bar and grab the power cord. So not fixing it to the wall at the start was really good because it meant we were able to move it to a place that she couldn't reach that power cable. And it's much safer now. So as I mentioned before, this camera does have the ability to add up to four, like to have four cameras on it all operating at the same time. And with my old camera, I had actually found a secondhand additional camera online and decided that I would give it a try and see if having that additional camera was really useful for us. And it was. I loved having an extra camera. It was great. Say she fell asleep on our bed, I could have I had a camera there ready to go. I didn't have to, you know, undo this one and risk waking her up. It was all ready to go. Or we had she was asleep in her pram in the lounge room and I needed to go to the toilet and I didn't feel comfortable leaving her there. Without being supervised, I could turn the monitor on. I knew that I was watching her the whole time and it really helped with peace of mind, so that was great. So I knew that when I got the unit and camera, I wanted that ability to have that additional camera and it also can help fix the battery problem. So what I did, as soon as I got the unit and camera and I hooked it up, made sure the Wi-Fi worked and I was happy with it, I set an alert on Gumtree to show me any unit and cameras that came up quite cheaply. And basically what I was looking for was a complete monitor system that would come with, whether it came with a screen that was broken and that's why they were selling it cheaply or, or it was just the additional camera, I would be able to get what I needed a lot cheaper because buying a brand new additional camera is almost half the price of the whole monitor system altogether. And I really couldn't justify that without having you know, the need of using it all the time with say a second baby or somewhere else that I wanted to monitor. So I was really lucky, I set the alert, and within a couple of days I found someone that was selling a, an older version or a, and a more simple version of the Uniden camera. 
So they were selling the, the um, smaller screen and one of the stationary cameras and for much for half the price of what it would have cost me to buy a new pan and tilt camera. And I knew that having the stationary camera would be fine. I wanted to just, you know, use it quickly to view a certain area. Once Sadie got older, I could use the stationary camera in her room to just listen to sound. If she, you know, got out of bed and was crying, I wouldn't need to necessarily monitor her with a video all the time like I would if I had a smaller baby. So this setup worked really well for us. And it also meant not only did I get an additional camera, I got another charger cord for this camera and I got the screen and another charger cord for the screen. So in everyday use, I don't actually use the additional screen, so I just have a spare charger cord. So the charger cord that came with this additional setup, I have next to the bed. So when I'm in the lounge room, the screen sits on the dock, being permanently charged. And say I'm sitting on the couch or I'm walking around, I can log on on my phone to have a look, I have a quick look at see what Sadie's doing, um, but the monitor screen never runs out of battery because it's sitting on the dock. And it's also on the dock so that I can hook up to Wi-Fi without having to move the screen to make the Wi-Fi part of it work. So that works really, really well for us during the day. The screen is under the TV. So if I am watching TV, Sadie moves, the screen, this screen will light up and then I can log on to my phone and see what she's doing or I can go up to the screen and have a look. So that works really well. And then say I've gone to bed and, you know, when she was younger, I did take the screen with me every night, but it would go flat, you know, halfway through the night and then I would be pointless. Wouldn't be on the dock, so I couldn't even log in on my phone. So having that additional setup that I bought means that I can use the charger cord from this camera, but they're the same voltage, it's all the same thing, to have next to the bed permanently to keep there for this screen. So it works really well. I don't have to unplug anything. I can just take this with me and plug it in. It works perfectly. And then I have the second camera. We don't have an open plan kitchen and dining and living area. So if I'm in the kitchen and Sadie's playing with her toys, I can't see what she's doing very well. And I find I'm constantly running in and out and nothing ever gets cooked. So having this second monitor with the clip means I can actually clip it onto our bookcase and angle the camera. And because it's far away from her, I get a nice wide shot. I can see what she's doing. I can make sure that if she's climbing up on something, I can be there you know, in a second from the kitchen to, to help her. And I also know that she's you know, entertained and not getting into any mischief. The other great part about having the extra camera is when a friend comes over and puts her baby down to have a nap, we're not you know, constantly listening out to hear what that baby's doing. We can just take the camera, got the charger cord that can be very easily unplugged from where this is in the lounge room to pop in the other room. We can go out in the backyard, we can go for a swim, and we're not worried about what the babies are doing. It really just gives that extra peace of mind. And I think that I'm really able to get the most out of the whole setup that I've got. And I definitely love this monitor. So I hope this review on my unit and baby monitor has been helpful for you and it's helped you have a bit more information on deciding what products might work for you and your baby. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me in the comments below or on my Facebook page, Aussie Mama Reviews, and um, I will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. If you also have any questions about a certain product that I might use, um, please feel free to leave me a comment in either of those locations. And if you have any suggestions or things that you would like reviewed, please let me know and I'll do my best to come out with a video for you. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. See you later.